I'll have whatever Bud's on tap. And I'll have a blue Hawaii. But no pineapple in the garnish. Pineapple is his super weakness. What are you telling my super weakness for? Well, if I didn't tell her she would have brought you your drink, you would have started nibbling absent-mindedly at the little plastic sword, and then BAM! You'd be lying on the floor, reaching out helplessly, whimpering, my powers, my magnificent powers! Gone. I don't whimper. Besides, what do you care? If I was powerless, you could defeat me. Defeat you? God, you're so predictable. Isn't that what it's all about? The supervillain do whatever it takes to defeat the superhero. Fine. If that's what you want it to be all about, that's what it'll be about. I'm just saying. Why did you ask me to meet you here tonight? I mean, you made it sound like it was this big... Say, how do you even know what my super weakness is? Issue number 27, magma cum laude. I was implanting a wormhole into the mouth of Mauna Loha in an attempt to flood Washington, D.C. with lava. Remember? You flew up to stop me. One of my henchmen lobbed a pineapple grenade at you. You, for some reason, decided to eat it. I've got just some invulnerability. Anyways, you lost your powers and plummeted towards the volcano, but fell through my porthole instead. You splatted onto the floor of the Senate and were revived by the president pro tempora, a globally renowned food allergist before her election. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. That was lucky. Right. Don't use that one. It has your secret identity on it. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. How do you know my secret identity? Issue number 59. Say cheese, bees. I placed miniature cameras in all the phone booths and then airdropped the city with hives of killer bees. You swallowed the queen bee. That's just a vulnerability. And led the swarm out into space. But I got a picture of you changing into your super suit. That's an invasion of privacy. It's also public exposure. You don't tell, I won't tell. I hate that you know my secrets. Oh, you're exaggerating. You do. You know where my secret hideout is? Issue 71, home sweet homicide. You know what my secret origins are? Issue 48, lightning never strikes heists. You even know the secret to my chili recipe. Issue 84, dial M for mayonnaise. <laughs> See, this is exactly why I wanted to meet. To make me chilly? No! To tell you! To tell you, I've decided to move on. <laughs> move on from what? You! Us! Wow. I, I'm sorry. I wanted to break it to you more gently. No, that's... You know, it, it's... Wow. I, I really think it's for the best. You... You know everything, well, you already know everything there is to know about me. You've got me completely figured out. There's nothing left to discover. 84 issues. That's a long story. Too long? Our writers are raping the barrel. Chili recipe? What was that about? <laughs> We'd be doing everyone a favor if we just ended the story. So, so what? You, oh, you'd get a new arch villain. Eventually, we'd, we'd start with some guest appearances by promising newcomers. Maybe some flashbacks of minor villains from earlier issues. Like Sergeant Sixpack? Nobody's anything about bringing back Sergeant Sixpack. I don't even know if he's still in the business. Last I heard he was teaching in Stockholm. Right. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, I want the story to start fresh. A complete revamp. Issue number one and everything but name. That's what you want? To yeah. go back to issue number one? Yeah, yeah. Why on earth would you ever want to do that? So I can be, I don't know, interesting again. The enigmatic hero with a mysterious past. Everyone loves the unknown. Secrets are sexy. <laughs> <laughs> you want to start all over again at issue number one so you can be enigmatic and mysterious? And sexy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then what? And then what, what? Issue number one. You meet your new arch villain. You have that first big battle. You act all enigmatic and mysterious. And sexy. 
<laughs> and on the last page, the villain escapes with a sneering, we'll meet again, caped crusader, while the end splash cries out in bright bold colors, don't miss out, faithful readers, on the shocking reveal in issue number two. Shocking reveal? Yeah, unless somehow your new arch-villain is never supposed to learn a thing about you. Or were you planning on bringing in a minor villain every issue? One who never sticks around before they can, they just disappear before they can think of you as anything other than enigmatic and mysterious? No, no minor villains. I want an arch villain. Someone equal to me in power. Someone who can put up a good fight. Someone who could last 84 issues. <laughs> yeah. And what are the writers supposed to do with this arch villain? Keep them completely ignorant and in the dark for 84 issues? No, I, I mean, the arch villain will learn things about me eventually, I guess. What kind of things? <laughs> I don't know, like... Your super weakness in issue 27? Maybe. The secret identity in issue 59? Perhaps. The secret to your chili recipe in issue 84? Mm -hmm. I think the mayonnaise made it too soupy. Do you think that would work better? <laughs> the point is, why bother starting again at issue number one if you're just gonna play out the exact same story all over again? Sure, it will be the same story, but it will have a new arch-villain. Wouldn't you rather have new stories with the old arch-villain? <laughs> Are there any stories left to tell about us? This was a new story, wasn't it? Yeah, but I lost this battle. I'm not supposed to lose. I'm a superhero. There's always next issue. <laughs> we just tore down half the city over a chili recipe. What are we supposed to find out next issue? Which way to hang a toilet paper roll? From underneath. Only a villain would say that. <laughs> Arch villain, thank you. My arch villain. <laughs> to issue number 85. And all the issues after. <laughs>